all the other guys are just zipping back in. Yes. So, I'm going to saw the screen and was there any questions about the monthly divide by 52 or divide by 12, right? Okay, those were straightforward. I'm going to be looking them up, though, when you hand it in. Next. I will. Welcome to Math 11. We're looking at commission. Yeah. Understanding commission. Straight commission. When you receive a, per a percentage of your total sales, regardless of how much, he, she sold. Okay? Graduated commission, which offers incentive to employees to sell more. You receive a higher rate of commission as you sell more success. Salary or wage plus commission is a fixed amount of money plus. So you get some hourly wage and then you get some commission. And I think I mentioned to you guys that I was talking to my Harris Dallas, Ultra Cuts, and she said she gets a guaranteed hourly wage unless she's busier than a certain amount and then she gets commission. So it's a combo for her. Sounds like a good day because if there's a snowstorm and stuff like this, people will cancel appointments and stuff like that, right? Have a slow day, but she gets paid at least. She worked 100% commission. Some of those days would be just a waste. You know? Okay. Car sales might be commission. Things like that. Sales jobs or some service jobs. I'm just going to pause and then get you. What do you think you'd like to receive? Since some of you guys already have this. Consider your skills as a salesperson to help ask. Who thinks here, out of you guys, would be a good salesperson? Are you outgoing enough to say, hey, I think this car would look great. What do you think? Is that you? You could be a salesperson, you think? Yes. What do you think? Would you be into sales? What's that? Okay, so you wouldn't like that. And, okay, you wouldn't want to work for a straight commission. Okay, right? How about you? You wouldn't want to do commission either. It, it's a high-risk thing because, yeah, if you have slow days, slow pay right and uh, but if you're if you're pretty confident and you know a, a salesperson that can kind of like be friendly and people want to keep chatting with them about these cars and, and you kind of get sucked in with a salesperson and stuff like if you were confident about that you'd probably want commission not salary because you think you can do better than most other people in your area on your sales lot have at her I want to and so if you're kind of competitive so I'm taking it from you that none of you are truly interested in sales. But, okay. Have something down, though. I'm going to be looking at that paper. And you just say, I would then want salary plus a wage commission because I, if you're not confident that you could do really well at sales. If you were, you'd probably want something like graduated commissioners or straight commission. Then that's just a, just, you know, you could just say the one category that you think this works for me. I'll be looking for that. The calculating commission. Look at three examples. This guy, Eric, car salesman. Twelve cars making three hundred and twenty thousand in total sales. Now that's not his money. That's what the customer paid to Capital Auto or whatever, you know, box auto. Look at the calculators for Eric's earnings based on the following commission types. Straight commission. 2% of his sales goes to him. Calculate his earnings. If he makes 2% in sales, I'm going to get up and uh, talk on the board. 2% to a decimal number. The first, number, first and second class, I said converting decimals, percentage of decimals. I think of it as 2 out of 100 as a fraction, and I use it as a rule. That's the truth. 2%, you divide by 100, you get decimal zero. Then you multiply by 0. 0.1. So the total sales times zero. Type that in your calculator. Figure out $6,400 in commission. I didn't pay him that much. Didn't say a month ago, but I'm thinking. 
think that's the week of August. Feel very comfortable with the week for uh, August. So, graduated commission. So next, parents receive percentage of total sales every month. The more he sells, the higher percentage is set. So, for the first two hundred thousand dollars, we get the one point five percent. Between two and three hundred, you might get one point seven, and then anything over three hundred thousand is paid. You can tell he's not going to make as much money here. You got to chop it up. There's more work to figure this out. Like this. So, three hundred twenty thousand in sales. Step one. For the first two hundred thousand dollars, you get three hundred for your school. See that one you get for the two hundred. You use that decimal, fifteen percent is divided, fifteen divided by hundred. So you get two thousand dollars out of that amount. Then you sold everything between two hundred to three hundred thousand for the first two hundred. You find that amount by subtracting it. That's a hundred thousand dollars. So he would multiply that by the 17 percent of the death. He would divide that That's where that goes. I'm whizzing through this because I know you guys are looking ahead. Okay. So that's the And then you'd add those all up, and I think that would be a good calculation. Because then you earn. 20 grand over at the 2% level. Let's see if it's 2%. Yeah, that's, there's another two steps there. You'd have to figure out the 20 grand and 0 0.03 and then add up the 0. It's confusing, but I can help you guys through it. Let's just take a look at that. Salary or wages plus commission. That's a safer bet. Can't spend as much, but at least if it's a slow month, you got some guaranteed income. Parents receive fifteen hundred dollars per month plus one percent of commission. How much money does he earn by selling twelve cars? Well, one percent is a decimal, so so multiply all the sales by that thirty two hundred dollars. So he earns his fifteen hundred dollars plus the thirty two hundred. Four thousand seven hundred. So he has a guaranteed wage of fifteen hundred dollars. But let's take a look at straight commission. You definitely do better at straight commission. It's four hundred dollars. But like I say, it's an insurance policy. Yeah. 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 This is stupid. This is the continuation of the other page. Remember, I said there's two more steps. There they are. Okay. So that problem that ended up on the last page that meant calculate the amount of commission for the sales over three hundred. Well, that's the twenty thousand dollars you just spent times two percent, four hundred extra dollars. Put all of these together, the three thousand twelve up to two hundred. So seventeen hundred for that three hundred three hundred twelve dollars plus the four hundred. That doesn't pay that well compared to the straight commission. So I don't know. I'm not even sure. I don't know what you really put on the I know this. Graduated commission is the upper percentage. What happens if they explain a straight commission? So I've only three cars. So you look back and say, oh, two percent. You figure this out. Reflect on the different calculations of Eric's earnings. We already, I kind of talked about this. Which do you think you'd like to be paid on? Answer. Explain your answer. And it's a word to answer, not a number. Obviously, you'd like the most amount of money, but do you personally, maybe Eric can sell 12 cars. Do you think you would? You know, what happens in, probably people don't car shop as much in January or February. So I'm just guessing people. When is your happy? And I'm going, I want to go on. You might be selling 12 cars in August and September, but come January, December, you know, it's eight slows down a lot. Factor that in, too. What type of things did you consider in your answer? Well, I kind of gave you some things to consider. I'm expecting you to write some things out. 
for now. Practice your skills. Oh, ask your teacher right now. How many of the following questions you should complete so that each question identifies the type and the, and the teacher? There I am. Let me grab and I'll let you know. Here's the words of the shoe store. We're going to put stars and stars. $250 a week plus 8% commission. What are your total earnings? I think I like this one. You find 8% of the 3500 she sold plus just the salary that you're earning. Think of that one. John works part time at Al Anderson. Or with us. Some in hockey sticks. 3% of his sales is sales for each work day. One week at the gym. Calculate the earnings for one. So you're going to add all those up and take 30% of the money. Now, I'm going to say yes. But if you're selling hockey, like skates, you might have a really good month when rich people tend to buy hockey skates more often. There are people who buy it year round. But don't you think one? Time of year would be a lot busier than other times of the year. Yeah. When do you think? Yeah. As a winter coach, you're the start of the season. Sometimes kids' feet go so much that parents have to buy a second pair by January or February for the hockey coach. That doesn't happen too often. Probably really slow in the spring. Right? Okay. I want you to do that. Like number three, you're going to do this one. You're marking this, right? Because it's going to be. How much practice do you guys think you need? You can test it eventually on this. You think you need four and five? I'm going to skip five. I'm going to do four. Okay? This is getting me up there. I'm telling you that, you know what, this Russell Computer Retailer, just cross that one off. Close to the end. Okay, I'm skipping up to. Uh, So you got a big one. I like this one. Seven. Eight. Now, John, make your regular salary out. I like eight. It's got a bonus system, like both salary and commission. This one basically you've got to calculate two scenarios. Number nine, like this. You're going to do it. This is going to be a big assignment. This is going to be work for your money. Janet. I don't like Janet. I don't care. Her name bugs me. But they use the name John three times, but this time it's John with an H. Sometimes it's John with an H. Look at this, John and then J-O-N. Terrible. If they can't get the name straight, we're not going to do it. Okay, let's go. Seven, let's do all right. Seven, I'm going to stop and we'll take a look at the T-squares. Tomorrow is a work class. we got a lot of stuff to do. Right? I'm going to stop at the new part. Okay. 